Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I love living in the Seattle area because I'm a big fan of overcast skies. It doesn't rain constantly. It's more like a, you know, nine-month drizzle. And uh, this is in sharp contrast to my home state of Iowa, where there's severe weather happening just about every other day. Whether it's hot or cold, doesn't matter. It's always severe. When I was visiting my parents last week, taking care of them after their car accident, uh, we drove through a very severe thunderstorm. And I was freaking out the whole way. Didn't want to be there. Really didn't want to be there. But we survived. Uh, and I was happy to come back home to be with my nuclear family. Nuclear. Uh, Ponzi and the dogs. And uh, living here in uh, gray conditions, but nice conditions. Just a few minutes ago, I actually uh, took a picture of, if this pulls up, uh, outside our window, there's a, a rainbow. It's kind of cool. This is, this is kind of my backyard, I guess, here in the Seattle area. Anyway, um, you know, severe weather is just not for me. And growing up, I used to be just, just deathly afraid of tornadoes. I would have nightmares about tornadoes. Uh, freaking out. I mean, watching the weather, every time there'd be any kind of severe uh, storm possibly rolling through the state, I was watching t television like a hawk. And if I didn't have access to a television, I was listening to the radio. So anyway, fast forward to today, I mean, modern day, and we have all this technology that allows us to connect with other people all around the world uh, and, sh you know, finding people who share similar interests. Now, while I don't like being caught in the middle of a storm, I don't mind watching them from very, very afar, like extremely afar, like on the internet. And there are a couple of storm chasers who hang out in the chat room, and uh, they, they've actually shared some severe weather tips with everybody, which you might want to listen to now, especially with the summer coming up. Tonight, uh, one of you, I think it was Uncle John, sent over a link to severestudios.com slash live chase severestudios.com slash live chase here is a set of not just weather watchers but storm chasers who stream live you can be a part of a storm chase remotely and tonight we are watching a few of them down in uh, they were i believe in oklahoma and up behind me i've got uh, as you know google earth allows you to see weather let me uh, zoom in here in Google Earth, and I've got the radar turned on. Can you see Oklahoma? No, of course you can't, because there's this big band of red, orange, and green sweeping across the state. And actually, it's sweeping across Iowa as well. It goes all the way north. Jeez, it spans almost north and south and across the U.S. It's a big storm front. That's why I'm glad I'm over here in Seattle, where there's not really a lot of the intense stuff. Well, at least all that often. So we were watching storm chasers and were able to pinpoint their location according to the coordinates that they were sending out and watching their live video through severestudios.com. They were just aggregating these links because the guy that we were watching, Steve Miller in Oklahoma, uh, he's actually got his own website and you can go there and, and you know learn more about what he does uh, with his team. Um, and at, at peak, when he was watching Funnel Clouds, he had about 200 viewers watching live. So if you've always wanted to be a part of a storm chase without actually going on a storm chase, I'm suggesting severestudios.com forward slash live chase for a good aggregation point of storm chasers who stream live video. That's pretty cool. I do like watching weather programs, severe weather programs on television. No problem there. I loved the movie Twister. Parts of that, by the way, were filmed in the state of Iowa, and I have visited that uh, location in northern Iowa. Um, you know, and I, this is a, a good reminder uh, to you know bring up the fact that you know one of the reasons we're able to do our live video from the comfort of this home office is because of this little temperature right here. That's Weatherbug. They feed us. This is my the temperature outside of where I'm living right now. Uh, and uh, they've got, the reason why we're able to do this is because uh, Weatherbug has what they call an API that allows a developer, someone who creates programs or software, to use weather data from Weatherbug inside their software, whether it's a web application or a desktop application. And they've actually got a blog now on lockernome.com forward slash inside Weatherbug. 
So if you've ever had any questions about Weatherbug, you might want to ask here. Now, on this particular blog on Locker Gnome, Inside Weatherbug, uh, Matt Hartley has been posting quite a few bits of information in terms of how the API is being used. And Weatherbug is looking for creative uses of their API. Um, I would love to see more desktop programs that allow you to do things like I can do in Google Earth. I'm really interested in seeing a mashup of severe weather cams. I think that would be nice, and I don't know if you are a developer and you could use the data from Weatherbug to create something that was dynamic so that instead of having to go to a website uh, to click through and watch a video here, watch a video there, it could be done right within uh, a desktop application, whatever that platform happens to be. The Web Weatherbug API uh, should be able to help you create something if you are a developer. So if you know of any other cool desktop programs or websites related to weather, feel free to pass them along. My email address is chris at perillo.com. And yes, uh, I wanted to be a weather guy when I was younger. Didn't happen though. The whole math science thing tripped me up. But I like looking at, at graphics and weather patterns, you know, using software. That's cool. Now, if you want to join any of us geeks, we're usually hanging out in the chat room that accompanies our live video feed, which isn't so stormy. It's more, I don't know, what's the weather like in here? Ah, air conditioning. That's the weather here in the home office. You can join us, typically talking tech, 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.